I think Bush is my worst nightmare. I think Bush got a personal beef with the old dirty bastard in this world. I think Bush is the most insanest motherfucker that ever motherfucking lived. I like Bush. Bush is a straight gangster, son. White people didn't forgot that George Bush, he just stole the presidency. That's why I like the nigga, because he a thief. He keeping in line of what the United States is about. Steal your way to the motherfucking top. Ain't nothing wrong with that shit. I believe in that shit all day. <clears throat> yeah, we have that in common. As long as you back up the fuck up off of me, man, we'll be all right, man. You know what I'm saying? All George Bush need to do is get his dick sucked. He won't be after me no more. That's right. Well, of course the government has it out for him because, see, I'm a man-made product. You understand what I'm saying? I'm made. So you made me. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like when you made me, you got your your government here. You got your your government. So y'all, it's a, it's a world of a one thing. And I happen to be another thing that's governed too. You know what I'm saying? And I guess now it's my time. You understand what I mean? It's, it's time for me to move on. It's not, it's, it's time for old dirty bastard to not exist no more. It's time for a new old dirty bastard, the, you know, a baby old dirty bastard, you know, not called old dirty bastard as that baby, but you will call him old dirty bastard. And that's just how it is. I can't explain nothing but tell you the government is out to assassinate me and get it over with. That's it, period. And like we fans of George Bush, so we don't know why George. Yo, George, we don't know why, why you, the motherfucker why tripping? You tripping, George? Why the fuck you tripping, George? George, we got love for you, nothing. Um, if you've learned anything new in jail while you were in, t in jail, or any learn niggas trying to kill a nigga, man. Period. Yeah, how, how so? Government, man. I don't know, G. They on, they on my ass. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how to shake these these cats. You know what I'm saying these 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 are the big cats. Son. I'm not talking about these motherfuckers. Is President pushing them niggas, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Niggas on my ass, G. For real, G. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no smiles, G. You know what I mean? You don't see me grinning at for, for shit, G. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, G, I got to shake these niggas. Watching in the cross and that's danger. You were both in Skull and Bones, the secret society. It's so secret we can't talk about it. What does that mean for America? The conspiracy theorists are going to go wild. I'm sure they are. I don't know. I haven't seen the website. Number 322. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first of all, he's not the nominee. And, uh, but, uh, look, I look for... Are you prepared to lose? No, I'm not going to lose. You both were members of Skull and Bones, a secret society at Yale. What does that tell us? Uh, not much, because it's a secret. <laughs> Is there a secret handshake? Is there a secret code? I wish there were something secret I could manifest. 322? Secret number? Uh, there are all kinds of secrets, Tim, but one thing is not a secret. I disagree with this president's direction. Michael J. The Jackson! They manipulate out. They manipulate our history books. The history books are not true. It's a lie. The history books are lying. You need to know that. You must know that. Can't part your life away. Dream your life away. Sleep your life away. Fuck your life. Because your seeds come out the same way. You know? It's like that's why we'll throw little things out there like that just to see if they'll catch on to it and how many people will catch on to it so people can see it.
Mm-hmm. But it's like sometimes I start to think like the hip hop audience ain't that intelligent sometimes, you know? But they don't pick up on it because they let the, the corniest shit get the most airplay. You know what I mean? The 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 most unconscious shit get the most airplay. It's like what the fuck is wrong with the, y'all? The government. Yeah, and then run up on me talking about keep it real. Don't run up on me saying keep it real if you ain't supporting the real. The you know what I'm saying? Bottom line. The government brainwash our people with the mind control theory. That's what they do. So they make sure people like it. They keep playing that same song. The same song keep playing, you start to like it. You start to get cloned with it. You start to get cloned with it. So then for the clone exists, then it just takes over. It takes over the human body. It takes over the spirit. It takes over the soul. And therefore, behold, that's what you got. That is that your mental your mentality stays direct on the straight and narrow. You know what I mean, the straight and narrow path. Because a lot of people can be easily led in the wrong direction, and hard to be led in the right. You know, that's why a lot of this hip hop shit is just copycats. And a lot of copycats get over. Let's just stop this, all right? We're gonna start pointing the finger anyway at all the fake hip hop shit. When we say the fake hip hop shit, we talking about the government. Listen, I love the government, man. CIA, FBI, I love y'all niggas. Don't come knocking on my fucking door. I love them too. They all my children. Keep us safe. Oh man, it's like it goes on and on. You know how many Biggie Smalls and Tupacs there is out there, man? That fell victim. You know, we was brought up in a system that didn't give a fuck about us. That's why we live in the conditions that we live in. And then as we get older, it's like our young, our black sisters get a better chance than we do. And my people Because well, they're not, so threatened by us, man. I'm not crazy at all, okay? Nobody Everybody knows. always saying that dirty is crazy. Dirty is not crazy at all. Dirty just see, foresee a lot that a lot of people don't foresee. <laughs> Hey. Do, man. What's up, man? How was the show, man? Ah, that shit was crazy, man. We out in Vegas. It's hot it was just pandemonium. Just absolute, absolute pandemonium. Yo, we out here. It's hot as the Saints toenails. I feel like a <laughs> dragon is breathing on the back of my side. How it is. Look at this shit right here, man. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that shit. All right, so, we see a part two? Yeah, that's all that should matter. It's <laughs> <laughs> in that first. You sipping on motherfucking Grey Goose and Red Bull. And I'm in the... I'm teeter-tottering on fucking... <laughs> fucking... Like literally on Satan's door. Get yourself door. together. Get yourself together. Get yourself together. I'm really, I'm really like, I'm on the level right now. I feel great. I got an after party I have to host. And I don't know how I'm going to do it. However, I'm going to be there. We fucking front the Luxor. 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 Oh, man. I really, I want to find that shit. <laughs> Alistair Crowley, who dubbed himself the Beast and the most evil man alive, was a fellow traveler with some of the most powerful people in British society, including prominent royals. The Church of Satan, the Temple of Set, the OTO, the Golden Dawn, Skull and Bones, Bohemian Grove, the Blue Lodge, the Scottish Rite, the 33rd degree. It seems like there are hundreds of different occultic groups, but all they are are different denominations in the same religion, the Egyptian and Babylonian mystery schools. Compartmentalized pyramidal structures with a bunch of well-meaning dukes at the bottom, managers in the central areas, and Luciferian death cult adherents at the top. In India, it is Kali. The Mayans and Aztecs' greatest gods were the gods of death. It was the same in Egypt and in Babylon, as well as Rome and ancient Greece. In Britain, had some of the best equipment uh, that could be produced way ahead of its time in recording studios. But uh, they knew uh, how it would affect the mind, and they were doing experiments uh, even before the Beatles using uh, uh, electroencephalograph machines and playing types of music to youngsters especially who are more prone to altered states, you might call it, even uh, close to a meditative state, which some music can put you into. Classical music can also do the same. And, um, and they also knew that they could bring out anger 
uh, by certain types of music. And, and at the moment, they're using a lot of techno sounds to get us used to computerized sounds uh, because one day we'll hear that in our heads from the vocal brain chips. We'll hear the, the almost mechanical computer-type operating sound going through our heads, and that'll be a new type of music to the public. But when it comes to uh, the promotion of mind-altering drugs, that was, that was one of the, the functions that Alastair Crowley was given by by what became MI6, who now admitted, have admitted that, that he worked for them. They're very good at giving us gurus. And his job was to, to help create, to help start off, kick off uh, this next part of the New Age movement. The old stuff was started by Madame Blavatsky in the 1800s, the late 1800s. And we find Crowley was sent out there to fascinate the youth, and you'll find him on the covers of a lot of albums, even the Beatles.